Over the last few weeks we've been looking at uh, colour and the meaning of colour in the work and I just want to say that I think the work has been fantastic. It's been really exciting to see and to see how everybody has adapted or used the colour in different ways and it was I found it really interesting also because you tended to use the right colours that I hoped you would and um, which is really good but also use them in the right way. Uh, what I hope you've sort of realized is that you can we can now add color or use color in a different way so that when you're painting or using pastels or whatever even felt tips you can think about the color in less of a literal sense and more in its perhaps sort of I don't know sense of its meaning uh, and I think if you start to do that more as a habit you add more and more not just meaning but depth to your work which I think would be really important because I think we're getting away from just purely drawing and painting things uh, like you know like still lives and things because we, although we will do that again we can you have the skills to do that but I think it's more important now that your your work is all developed and expanding in the right way and I think that's by starting to look at meaning and the influence of colours and things like that so it's been brilliant and it's been a joy to see so that's an appraisal uh, now I'll talk about what we're going to do this week. So, thanks again for showing me your work. I really do appreciate seeing it. Um, so, this week, I'm going to try something a bit different as, and move forward. Because as I've been saying, I think the work, all of you, is, is, is just expanding and developing so well. So, I want to keep, keep pushing a bit. Um, I want to sort of try something uh, which is called abstracting nature. And it's basically about looking at the scenes and trying to get what you call the secondary image within the scene. So the first or the primary image is what you actually s literally see, like a, you take a picture of. So, you know, if I showed you a picture of some trees and a river and a you know, sky, it's kind of what you see and that's a, the literal interpretation of it. Um, the secondary image is where you, uh, you're sort of winnowing away the layers and you're going into the, uh, the, the secondary information. And the idea is, that this, is this is kind of complicated to explain, but you let yourself go and you look further into the image and you then enjoy the aesthetic appeal of what you're painting rather than the representative value of what it's supposed to be. So instead of just purely concentrating on painting the river, if that was a river scene, you're looking at the aesthetics of the paint, the colours, the tone, and the other implications of the colours you're choosing. So your painting is becoming more, um, less illustrative and more impressionistic, but also slightly more abstracting. So you're abstracting to that secondary level from nature. Okay, I'm going to just pause here but I'm going to show you an example. Right on the screen now should be well will be two images one after the other. The first one is a photograph of Multnomah Falls in Oregon um, which is obviously just a photograph I mean it speaks for itself really. The second is a picture by a, woman, a painter called Rebecca Allen um, and the point is is I want you to look at the two images uh, and I'll email these as well so you can go between them and work out how she's got from A to B. Because obviously the second image is arguably quite abstract, but it's got elements in it which she has seen in the original photograph, or what well, she didn't paint from photograph probably, I imagine she painted from plein air. But the point being that you look into it, go into the layers, into the depth, and you pick out more and more and the painting becomes, although abstract, it has elements of the scene, but it's also it's it's the it's the colours and the vigorous nature of the paintbrush and, and the way she's applied the materials that sells the picture, which is is more important than the literal representation of the 
well, so to say the photograph or the view itself. So that's what we're trying to do today, to look at scenes and abstract a bit from them, so step back from them or step into them and give them a, take them to the secondary layer where they're more aesthetic rather than just purely representational. Hope that makes sense. I'll explain more if you need more information as we go through in the morning.